Well, hi everyone. So today I'm going to have a go at flying my new DJI Mini 2 drone. So the last time I flew it, I crash landed it in my back garden. So hopefully I'm going to have a better go at it today. I've got a whole field over there. Surely there's nothing I can crash into over there, but we'll see. So wish me luck and uh, we'll see how it goes. So I'll consider that a success. At least that was better than last time. So we have a nice sunset here and a clear sky. So I'm now gonna head home and get the rig set up and do some imaging. So what shall I image tonight? We've been promised two clear skies tonight and tomorrow and it looks like it's gonna be clear all night. So I'm gonna leave the roof open until dawn and just hope there's no rogue clouds pass by and dump some rain on my scope. I've got to make the most of it. We've had rain and cloud continuously for the last few weeks. So tonight, tomorrow, fingers crossed, I'm finally going to get some imaging done. Okay, so it's just about dark enough now, so I'm going to open the roof and get ready for an imaging session tonight. the um, Whirlpool Galaxy M51 or possibly the Iris Nebula. Yeah, it's a bit too early for me to hit the run button. It's too much light in the sky, I'm afraid. It's not quite dark enough yet. Well, I'm itching to press that start button. I'm gonna have to wait another 20 minutes or so. So we've got two Apache helicopters coming over. We don't live far away from the base and we get this a lot. They seem to come to my house and turn left. I think somebody's painted a big white cross on the roof. So I'm just resetting the ASIR because I had to strip the rig down. I got massive bits of dust stuck in the image and train somewhere. So I've done what I can. I took the camera off, cleaned the sensor, cleaned the filters clean the uh, end of the scope and uh, hopefully I've got rid of it but I wasn't going to leave that there it was this massive bit of dust anyway get this reconnected do another test shot and see what it looks like so I'm now slewing around to Sirius so I can get focused problem I'm having is Sirius is very low and I'm only just, if I'm lucky, going to get over the top of this wall here. You'll see just how low I am. I'm not even sure that I'm going to get it, but... The Haslow. I'm not quite sure. I don't think I'm going to get it. Let me put this light out. And we'll see if we can get it focused on Sirius. Well, you can see Sirius up there. It's basically half and half, I think. And Arcturus, if you can see just between those two roofs there, in that V, that's Arcturus. And because of the end of the observatory wall here, I can't quite get Arcturus either. So anyway, it has focused on it, but you can see it's created this diffraction spike here. I don't know that I can use that to focus with. See the rest of the stars not too bad. I've never actually tried to focus 
in this situation. I'm gonna see what happens. I'll start the autofocus routine going. It may throw up an error. It may be okay, but that is very low, as you can see, very low. No surprise, surprise, it's worked. It's giving me a focus position of 48871. So I'll just come out of this, saying that the stars are focused. Fair, they don't look that bad. But what I'm going to do anyway, I'm going to stay around in my target and I will do another focus on my target. At least I got rid of the dust mates anyway. It looks a lot cleaner. So I think tonight my target will be M51, the famous Whirlpool Galaxy. And let's salute to that. Let's see what that comes out like. There's still a little bit of cloud in the sky. It's supposed to be clear all night. We were promised a clear sky. They lied to us. It depends if that light's coming towards me or not. Anyway, I'm cold, I'm going in for a coffee. Well, that's my first four minute sub. It's not looking too bad. Just quickly check the stars and the corners. Yeah, they look alright. For that, it's not bad. That's four minutes, and this is um, the red channel. Well, I'm saying good night to my rig out here. I'm now going to go in, leave it running all night. Fingers crossed, the weather will stay nice and clear. In the morning, I should have some lovely day up. So, we have 100% moon tonight. Don't know how much of a problem that will be. I'm shooting in that direction, slightly away from the moon, so hopefully it won't be too bad. I'm actually doing LRGB and HA, but I'm doing my luminance at the end of the session, so the moon will be a lot lower by then, because the rig is running until about four in the morning, so hopefully it won't be too much of a problem. So my run of clear nights has actually ended now. It's gonna to rain tonight. In fact, I think it's trying to rain right now. But still, I've had three clear nights and I left the roof off the observatory all night. I got about five hours a night, so that's 15 hours minus whatever subs I can't use. So I shall go through those now and have a look and see how many of those subs are usable and try and get a nice image together. So I hope you liked the video and I hope you liked the image. I'd like to thank all of my subscribers. I'm approaching 1,000 now, so that's just fantastic. If you like this kind of thing and you want to see more, follow me on my Astro Adventures. Please hit that subscribe button, hit, tick that little bell, and always I wish you all clear skies. Bye.